Okay, when you get your Clark Iron Forge hydraulic press, the tank will be empty. This is a pickup, so when you pick them up, you actually get a little bonus. The, the tank is full. But it will have been tested. Nine out of ten presses that leave here get tested. They to make sure everything works right. The main thing in your maintenance on these is this coupler right here. Keep an eye on that. Takes a uh, excuse me. Takes a three millimeter hex wrench, Allen wrench. Just make sure those stay tight. There's two on each coupler. There's uh, let's see. Yeah, see, there's two on each coupler. You just have to make sure they're tight. Because if it comes loose and backs off, it's going to, uh, you're going to have problems. Anyways, uh, that works good. The next thing is, there's grease certs. It comes greased, and the grease will last for a long time. I use a real nice synthetic grease. But be sure to grease that, you know, at least once a month. Um, you got metal to metal sliding here. And if you keep it greased, it will not wear out. It'll just it'll just work up 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 and down just perfectly. But anyways, but that's how the the maintenance. Of course, always keep an eye out for leaks and whatnot, and you'll be fine. But uh, this one is fixing to go to a customer that's picking it up from Huntsville, Alabama, uh, and uh, he will definitely enjoy this press. It's a it's a fast rascal. I'm gonna go and start it and show you. And I've already squished this piece of three eighths by two inch angle iron with it. It, it smashed it just like that. Anyways, awesome. But uh, always remember, keep your nose pickers out of here. Your nose pickers will not like being in there. Anyways, have a great day, y'all. Bye.